what is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to work with the dynamic area track, a feature in Fade that's going to help you do better tracking if you have object movement and camera movement in your shot. So as you can see on the screen awesome people, the main subject of our shot, the car is moving and at the same time awesome people, there is also a camera pan in the shot. So we have object movement in the shot, the car, and then we have the camera pan that equals camera movement. So if you have a combination of both of these in your shot awesome people, dynamic area track would be a lot better option than static area. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So I have my composition over here, I'm going to select the video file, go to effect. Fatec, Fain. Once it is showing over here, I'm going to select that, hit add track. And then awesome people, in order for Fain to understand what we are trying to track and uh, because the object has motion in it, what kind of motion does the object have, we need to select the full car. So even though I just need the car, I, I mean the door of the car, uh, in order to get a proper track, I'm going to select the full car and a little bit extra on top of that. So as you can see, I'm trying to you know include the rocks over here and i'm selecting the full car this is because uh you know fain will be able to understand how the object is moving based on all of this extra information so once that is done awesome people select the dynamic area and click on start now once the tracking is done awesome people i'm going to click on the active button and let me just say something awesome people that the full workflow of working with fain is exactly the same if you're going to take dynamic area track so all of my other tutorials in which I have used a static area and all the different things that I've shown you till now, they translate, they actually are the same thing even if you're working with a dynamic area. So you can get to work with the virtual grid, you can rotate your track, you can position what you have tracked and uh, you can do all of that and nothing is going to change. So let me click on the active button to take a look at the overview report of the track. So depth is okay but we need to check the orientation in XYZ. So let me just preview what I have till now. And let's see if the solid is properly sticking to the car or no. And you can see over here awesome people that there is this uh, wiggle in the car. And Fane is tracking that perfectly as well. So this is perfectly sticking awesome people. This is good stuff. And uh, I'm going to work with this. Now, when I'm working awesome people, I don't like to have such a big uh, perspective grid. So I'm just going to shorten it like this. Trim it like that. So I'm getting like a proper small grid awesome people. And this is perfect. Now awesome people, let me try to replace this with my pre-composition. So, Sam stuck by it. Yes. And you can see awesome people that the logo is coming in a little off. Now, the tracking awesome people is done right. It's just that the initial position and orientation of the logo is a little off. So I'm going to fix that by just reducing the scale. And I can position it properly on the car like so. I can rotate it. And if I change the blend mode to multiply, the white is going to go away. Now, in order for this to blend in a little bit better, I'm going to go to brightness and contrast, apply that, change the brightness to 80, bring down the contrast to minus 10, which is good. And a little bit of directional blur or some people is going to help recreate the motion blur from our shot. So this is looking a little too crispy. There you go. Now awesome people, what I'll do is I will use the track one for tracking another graphic. So again awesome people, everything from here on is the same thing. Uh, dynamic area track is only used or at least I only use it when there is object movement and camera movement at the same time in the shot. So I'm going to scale this down as well. Rotate it, scale it, position it properly like so. And once this is done, awesome people, I'm just going to copy paste the effects from before. So that awesome people is how you work with the dynamic area track in Fain. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you guys understood when to use dynamic area track and when to work with a static area track. My name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I will see you all next time.